The Date and Time of Jesus' Crucifixion Hypothesis Jesus was crucified about 9 in the morning on Thursday, April 2nd, 33 CE, dying about six hours later. This video builds upon seven presuppositions. Hebrew days start at nightfall and continue till the following sundown. All date references in the four canonical Gospels must be consulted. By the first century CE, the Feast of Unleavened Bread started a day early and continued for eight days. The evening meal of all eight days was called a Passover. Passover day was a high Sabbath, regardless of the day of the week on which it occurred. There were two preparation days, one for the high Sabbath and another for the weekly Sabbath. The Gospels count hours of the day by the Roman system from about six in the morning. The calendar of Passover week seems to have been as follows. The ninth of Nisan was a sixth day before Passover, consisting of Friday evening and Saturday. The tenth of Nisan was the fifth day before Passover, a Saturday Sunday. On this day, lambs were selected for Passover. The eleventh of Nisan, fourth day before Passover, Sunday Monday. 12th of Nisan, third day before Passover, Monday, Tuesday. 13th Nisan, second day before Passover, Tuesday, Wednesday. The 14th of Nisan, a Wednesday, Thursday. This was preparation day for the Passover. It was also the first day of eight days of unleavened bread. In the daytime, Passover lambs were sacrificed, and in the evening, they celebrated a first Passover meal. The 15th of Nisan, Thursday, Friday. This was Passover day, a high Sabbath. It was also preparation day for the weekly Sabbath, as well as first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. In the evening, a second Passover meal was eaten. 16th Nisan, Friday, Saturday. This was the weekly Sabbath, when a third Passover meal was eaten. 17th Nisan, Saturday, Sunday. The first day of the week, a fourth Passover meal was eaten. 18th Nisan, Sunday, Monday. A fifth Passover meal was eaten. 19th of Nisan, Monday, Tuesday. A sixth Passover meal was eaten. 20th of Nisan, Tuesday, Wednesday. A seventh Passover meal was eaten. The 21st of Nisan, Wednesday, Thursday. A final Passover meal was eaten. The Day and Date of Jesus' Crucifixion A Day-by-Day -day Account The Ninth of Nisan, Friday-Saturday Six days before the Passover, Jesus therefore came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. The Tenth of Nisan, Saturday-Sunday They gave a dinner for him there. The next day the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. The eleventh of Nisan, Sunday, Monday. He entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. As it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, 
they came to Jerusalem. The 12th of Nisan, Monday, Tuesday. When evening came, they went out of the city. They passed by in the morning. After two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. The 13th of Nisan, Tuesday, Wednesday. He was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper. Before the feast of the Passover, the first day of unleavened bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where will you have us go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? The 14th of Nisan, Wednesday, Thursday. They prepared the Passover. And when it was evening, he came with the twelve. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. That Sabbath was a high day. Jesus was crucified of a Thursday, on the 14th of Nisan. Since it was the day of preparation, and so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day. It was the day of preparation, and the Sabbath was beginning. 15th of Nisan, Thursday, Friday. The women who had come with him from Galilee, followed and saw the tomb and how his body was laid. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate. 16th of Nisan, Friday, Saturday. On the Sabbath, they rested according to the commandment. 17th of Nisan, Saturday, Sunday. Lazarus. When the Sabbath was passed, on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb. Jesus rose from death back to life of a Sunday morning, the 17th of Nisan. It is now the third day since these things happened. The hour of Jesus' crucifixion and death, an hourly account. The third hour, nine in the morning. They crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them, to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. The sixth hour, noon. When the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. The ninth hour, three in the afternoon. At the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. The year of Jesus' crucifixion may be deduced from the following biblical data. Truly in this city there were gathered together, against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles. Pontius Pilate was procurator of Judea between 26 and 36 CE. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, the word of God came unto John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. John the Baptist preceded Jesus from about 29 CE, during the reign of Tiberius Caesar. After John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe in the gospel. 33. Thus Jesus must have begun his public work after about 30 CE. The Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. The Passover, the feast of the Jews, was at hand. The Passover of the Jews was at hand because he attended Passover in Jerusalem three or four times. 
In those days, I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood. The apostles reported a lunar eclipse, which occurred in 33 CE. Thus 33 CE remains the most probable year of Jesus' crucifixion. Seventy weeks are decreed about your people. From the going out of the word to restore and build Jerusalem, to the coming of an anointed one, a prince, there shall be seven weeks. And after the sixty-two weeks, an anointed one shall be cut off. The book of Daniel had predicted that an anointed one, a Messiah, would die after some 483 years. Conclusion The dates and events recounted in the four canonical Gospels provide a coherent detailed crucifixion account that proves consistent with historical Passover practices. Jesus was apparently crucified on Thursday, April 2nd, the 14th of Nisan, a day before Passover, in the year 33 CE. Jesus was crucified about 9 in the morning, dying at about 3 in the afternoon, at the time that Passover lambs were sacrificed. Jesus lay in his tomb three days and three nights. Thus the crucifixion of Jesus was an historical event reported by reliable eyewitnesses.